What is up my friends, welcome back to another video and today I've got another sample library to do a quick look of. It is Heaviosity Scoring Acoustic Guitars, their newest expansion in the Gravity Pack series. I uh, just want to throw a quick thank you to Heaviosity for sending me this library. Uh, they reached out and let me know about it and I thought it looked pretty interesting. So um, yeah, let's, let's just dive in and take a look. So basically, um, I actually don't have too much experience with Heaviosity's um, gravity sound design type of stuff. And so when this library came around, I thought it'd be a cool idea to, or, or a cool opportunity to take a look at what it has to offer. And um, as a, quite a simple person myself, I tend to get a little bit confused and overwhelmed by uh, GUIs that look a little bit too complicated and have um, lots of knobs and stuff on them. And this is one of those instances where you know, when I look at it, I'm kind of looking at, oh, what, what does this do? What does this do? What does this do? And I kind of have to go in and, um, you know, see what, what each of those knobs does. I mean, once you look at it a little bit further, you see there's like reverb, there's chorus, there's delay, there's distance, there's, um, or distortion, sorry. And then there's like more EQ and, and more sound design elements down here. So GUIs, th there's so many balances between like something that's too overly complicated and gives you all the features versus something that's more simplistic and gives you exactly what you need. If, so for me personally, this is uh, more on the more complicated side where it, it takes me a little bit of time to look over it and kind of try to understand what you know, everything is all about, but I think that comes to be expected from a company like Heaviosity whose products, you know, venture into a lot of the sound design territory. But for me personally, the, the, the reason I was interested in this library is mainly because of the acoustic guitars. I don't really have many acoustic guitar libraries. I have maybe like one or two. And so I thought like, you know, this, this could really lend a nice cinematic sound to my productions, even if it's like a songwriting thing, excuse me, songwriting thing. Um, or maybe just like a simple underscore, um, this library could do really nicely. So let's take a quick look at what it comes with. We have basically six different folders of um, different uh, sets of patches, and each of them basically do something a little bit different. So Acoustic Guitarscapes, you could probably guess that they, um, it, it's like a one-click button where you press it and then the soundscape basically envelops you, right? And so what's interesting is that this library was recorded in two minor keys, A minor and E minor. And uh, for me personally, I would love if they included major keys as well, even if it's just two major keys for us to uh, transpose between. But basically, you know, you can just play one of these pads here. And I've assigned the mod wheel to the punish knob. So you hear this pad here. now. It's currently set to A minor. If I change the key, now it's on D minor. And you can change keys on the fly. Right? Let's try another one of these soundscapes. So this one's in E minor. Let's try another one here. So yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, I don't know if they're specifically made to be layered together, but you can certainly do that. So a nice option to have. But yeah, they, they have basically have two versions of different soundscapes, and then they have specific ones that you can choose from if you'd like to. But it's nice to have, you know, this option of having all of them that you can basically cycle through. Uh, let's hear some of the E minor ones here. So... This one has a slightly like Spanish influence to it, it feels like. Try layering some.
you know, I mean, the source material itself sounds fantastic. But yeah, me personally, I probably wouldn't use these patches as much. Uh, we'll get to the ones where I think I would use the most. Um, the nylon phrase menu, let's see what this sounds like. So now we're moving on to the melodic pulses and the phrases. So these are like basically rhythmic elements, you know, and it sounds like this. I realized that uh, actually these phrases are all kind of velocity mapped. So basically the, the softer you press, the softer the phrase is going to be. And the harder you press, the, um, the, the louder it's going to be, you know? I think I would have preferred by default if that volume was automatically mapped to the mod wheel in addition to the punish and the twist. I had to manually assign punish and twist uh, to the mod wheel myself. So you just right click and you learn the CC automation. Um, but, you know, I, I, I could also see why this works as well. So it's nice to have these different phrases. And of course, you can layer them together to create your own nice soundscapes. And then, of course, you can change the keys. If you go too far, it starts to sound a little bit weird, but... That one sounds especially pretty. C sharp minor is such a nice key. Okay, then we have the uh, the pads, which there's complex pads and there is uh, elements pads. And if by the way, if you want like a full walkthrough of the of the features and the instruments and all the different knobs and stuff that it comes with, definitely check out Heaviosity's channel. They have like dedicated videos. One specifically walks down, I think one of the uh, uh, breaks down one of the official walk uh, demos for the product. And the other video is basically a walkthrough of the basic um, pa uh, patches that the library comes with and takes you through some of the different functions there. Um, anyway, these are some of the elements here. So more pad-like functions here, right? Obviously, you can get very creative with what you have here. Uh, one one type of patch I think is really cool is the performance palettes, where they actually combine multiple uh, multiple types of patches into one patch, basically. So at the very bottom, we kind of have the nylon plucks or pulses, you know, which is really cool. So different chord progressions here. This is just holding one note, you know. So this is all in A minor. Now here, I don't see the option to transpose a different key, so you could do this um, after recording it. You can bounce it to audio and then transpose it there. Or you could just transpose it here in the tuning knob. Um, in the middle, we have uh, pedal, pedal pulses, basically. So one specific note. Three, four, one, two, three. So you can stack your own pulses here or your own patterns, which is really cool some phrases at the top. So you could do something like... get super creative with it and I'm just I'm just playing literally a few notes here and there but it sounds pretty cool uh, here we basically have the same thing we have E minor scrapes pedals and pulses so scrape sounds like this and these are reversed so the heavy acid team actually went through and 
did a bunch of stuff to it. You have reversed options, you have effects options. Right, so those are all really nice to have, just to give you some inspiration there. Uh, now these are some of the patches that I think I would personally use the most. Just simple, basic guitar strums. Here's what they sound like. We have uh, minor up here and major down here. Let's punish this thing up. No, I can't do it while recording, but that's okay. Another thing I find super cool is that you can actually uh, change the BPM and it will basically follow your tempo. So you can basically play in real time and uh, and have the, the loops and the phrases uh, follow your BPM, your host tempo at the same time, which is really nice. So yeah, basically you can come up with some really nice chord progressions just by doing that. And I've basically only chosen one pattern here. So that's from the rhythmic harmonies. And they have six, or they, yeah, they have six different patches for you to choose from. Three from the nylon guitar and three from the steel guitar. So this is, that was the nylon. Here's an example of the steel pattern. See, as I push up the punish knob, it starts to get a little a little hot. So you can always turn that down or turn the punish down. Totally up to you. Then we have a couple of combos here. So we have rhythmic pedals, which let's just take a look here. So we have some pedal combinations and single pedals. This is one of the combinations and this is one of the single pedals. Let's see what we got here. Right, so it's basically all one guitar, but you have different patterns, different types of patterns mapped to different areas of the keyboard. So within a couple octaves, you have, um, you know, a certain pattern here. Right, kind of a straightforward pattern there, and then a different one in the middle, and then a different one at the top. So you can combine multiple rhythmic patterns uh, if you would like to. And then finally, we have just one example of one of the, one of the types of rhythmic patterns. Okay, so I, I kind of like this gravity pack, not only because of the sound design elements, but because I actually get some really cool source material to work with. Um, it's not a playable guitar in terms of being able to play each of the individual notes themselves, like how you would play a regular acoustic guitar library, but this one is specifically meant for cinematic scoring where they give you pre-recorded loops and patterns and phrases that you can mangle and twist to your heart's delight and that's really the staple of heavy Ossity stuff taking really good source material and and then giving you the end user all the options that you want to sound design the heck out of this thing now for me personally i don't really do that type of thing but this library really intrigued me because i wanted some source material that i could really work with for my songwriting for my compositions and i think this library definitely delivers on that the only thing i'm missing is um, some major phrases i would love some major variants of the same thing the, the good thing is that 
you know, some of these uh, pedal things and the the rhythmic harmonies, they give you major and minor chords to actually play with some some uh, you know a variety of patterns in there as well. So that's always nice to have. But in terms of the soundscapes themselves, I would have loved to see some major variants as well in addition to the minors. So anyway, a wonderful library. It might not be to your style if you're not really into sound design, but if you are into sound design and you really like taking acoustic material and you know get, having the option to do whatever you want to it, uh, the gravity packs are definitely something to look into. So let me know if, if this is something you've picked up already, uh, if you enjoy it, what have you been using it for? What type of music do you really see it fitting the best for you personally? But And if you don't have it, uh, why not? Maybe uh, let me know if it doesn't really fit your style of writing or, you know, maybe you heard it and it doesn't really fit your type of fancy. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on this library. Um, for me, it, it won't be applicable to every single song that I write, but for the ones that do, that the ones that I really need an acoustic guitar pad underneath, basically, I can definitely apply this library. And yeah, just as my thank you to you for watching this video, I'd like to offer you my sample library buyer's guide. It's absolutely free. The first link in the description box, and it basically gives you my personal recommendations for orchestral sections, strings, woods, brass, percussion, piano libraries, jazz libraries, ethnic libraries, drum libraries. Um, I don't know about drums actually. Maybe I don't even have one on that. I, I don't know. Um, I have to double check, but um, it basically contains you know, the libraries I use on a, a near daily basis for my personal work. And if you're in the market looking for specific elements that you might be missing in your arsenal, then I think this guide will really, really help you. So it's a 100% free first link in the description box. I hope it will help you um, on your search for the next beautiful library. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and take care. Bye-bye.